Like she has like the the charge cancel, so like she can like be reverse charge, jump back, delay charge shot. I and mean, yeah, that's the case for all charge shot characters, and it is pretty cool. I will admit, especially since I play one of those charge shot characters, but yeah. still. Go, oh, Devin! Push on this kid! Oh, yeah, oh my got, God! Yeah, Devin's got Squirtle combos. Devin yeah. likes playing Squirtle so much to the extent he sometimes he'll just refuse to play Ivysaur. Yeah, I think Squirtle and Ivysaur are his best characters. It's like Squirtle's like the Fox, and like the Ivysaur is like the the Rosalina there's or the like, Kirby. There's nothing like Ivysaur. But like relative to the characters he's played, I would say Ivysaur is like more similar to Kirby than. I'd say Ivysaur is more like Rosalina. Fucked up advantage state. There we Re go. Really oppressive projectile, aka Luma or Razor Leaf. That uh makes you lose neutral even if you block it. Yeah, Mishka has not gone to play. This matchup looks way better for Samus though. Oh, this matchup is especially good for Samus. I don't know about this double switch. So I will agree with that because. Pokemon trainers obviously made of three different Pokemon. They all have their strengths and weaknesses, but they all sort of have like a really common shared weakness of uh, they can't really deal with good projectile campers. None of them. Really, even Squirtle. Squirtle. Squirtle, I think his size is like that would be helpful now. Sort of, but it's it's like every single projectile camper has like one get off me tool, and it's like wow, you better be really on point with that Squirtle pressure, son. Fair enough. And it's like you know how it is if you want to move. And there are projectiles, you just can't do it in this game. Yeah, yeah, you get shot. Like, I run into that problem plenty as Inkling. It's like, I'm gonna schmoove, and people are just like, I'm gonna throw shit at you. <laughs> and it's all because you can't run into a jump and keep on momentum. I'm still mad about that. They got rid of that all the way back in Brawl, never brought it back. Let's go backwards all the time. Nice read in the roll. Gotta switch to the, yes, gotta switch to the Squirtle. Diablo, 31% in one attack. Oh, I didn't combo, unlucky. It happens sometimes. I need to, I'm missing out on some busy work I need to take care of. Carry the, carry the stream. Okay, no problem. Damn, bro, this is looking pretty good for Devin. Now Mishka, just one charge shot is all it took, bro. Not gonna lie, it's kinda powerful. I was getting a bit aggressive here. You have all the time in the world. Oh my god, dude, try to kill him. Okay, get the charge. No charge. Okay, run up and get the charge. Corner pressure. Cancels. It's jump. That killed. No shot, bro. I don't know about staying this matchup. Character's a little bit low percent in your combo fodder. And then as soon as I say that, I just claps him. You'd love to see it. No, the whip throw! Into the DP. Get off me. Diablo. Okay, Bombos. Dude, that charge shot is literally a projectile electric when you go at this. It's just so sick. It has <gasps> so much done in this game for no reason. So she can achieve some Bombos, bro. Bombos. Oh, oh my god. Speaking that of Bombos. Oh no, it's Ridley. You can't use Ridley against Tennis. I don't know if how. Oh, I don't think he's gonna get on the stage. Yeah. That is not the right person. Nice comeback. Just the corner pressure, but really did it all. Devin, when he was, he got hit by that one shot, overextended, and then try to push advantage, and there was no opportunity. That's another bit of a uh, shared weakness between the two characters. That uh, between the three characters, that they all kind of stink at getting off ledge too. They don't really. They all get like opened up by ledge pressure. Hers is really good too. On top of that, it's not a good sign for them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If the opponent, if the Pokemon trainer's opponent is, uh, one sec. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to get everything in there. Mishka takes game one. Yeah, yeah. So if they're weak in the in the corner and she's good at corner pressure, then it's not gonna. Yeah. If the opponent is good at ledge pressure, then Pokemon trainer can really struggle. So, yeah, those are two, like, shared weaknesses between the uh, three characters. They can suffer against projectile campers. They can suffer against ledge trappers. Samus is both of those things. And it's horrifying. Let's 
What's up? I did. Nice spike. Oh my god, no jump. Bombo time. Nice read. The air dodge. I do not know why you switched. That was so random. Is Hello, everybody. It's uh, Woody. I'm here to Woody. support Sage on his uh, commentating adventures. Yeah, the, the one time I will ever commentate a match. <laughs> it's like Devin got a real hold of the matchup now. Uh, when last I saw, he was like getting sort of bodied. So. Oh, they played before these two? Oh no. my freaking god, it's the same as game one. No, literally the exact same thing happened the last game. Jeez Louise. I feel like Devin doesn't really have any kind of like, um, uh, Samus practice. Cause like, I feel like a lot of Samus's kind of do the same flow charty things. Okay, that was a good jab block. Okay, how are we gonna push this? I was all mentioning right. that all three of Pokemon Trainer's Pokemon kind of have shared weaknesses of projectile campers and good ledge trapping, which Samus is both of, if you want to follow up off that. Yeah, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, the fair just, uh, that was a good timing on the fair just being on the projectile. So a classic jab. Dem is not falling for that. The jab grab combo. If you guys don't know that, um, Samus's grab, Samus's jab is actually not true. Oh, no, not a. I was a Jeez, good, Louise, and bro, bringing block. it right back, <laughs> bringing it right back. So right now we got even stocks. Let's see how far Devin can take the string. We got 30, we got 38. All right, we got him push out and spike him. Ooh, uh, that, that could have been a good spike. I think he probably just couldn't react in time, so that still, still did the job. Oh 65, my God. just from that. Nice, bruh. Oh no, the job. Nice. Okay. Nice. Ooh, he didn't, didn't get the sweet spot. That would have definitely killed. Now you're off stage with Samus. I don't know about this. <gasps> the oh. draw. That should have been a B reverse. I think. Not a B reverse. That was probably a pivot grab. Yeah, yeah pivot grab. Yeah. Thank you. Damn, it's been a while. <laughs> Doma. Good on Devin. Not panicking and air dodging in that scenario. Samus will kill you. Ay, ay, ay. What's going to happen? Nice. 103 to 115 right now. And we got PT at the ledge against Samus. Oh. Oh. Uh, just slightly mistimed that uh, forward there. It's like, yeah, he, he knew he was gonna probably just like, but he got the timing off. Ah, oh, that oh, air dodge. Yeah. Oh, clutch. Oh, makes it back, yeah. Oh Ooh. my god, you're dead. Oh, you're yes. trolling. Oh <laughs> my god. Up throw. I'm gonna do it. It don't matter if you're a heavyweight. Charger's up throw just does it. Just does what it needs to do. Charger's up throw, I think, one of the more powerful up throws in the game. You did it, Squirtle. So, looks like we're going to game three. Uh, good adaptation from De uh, from Devin, following up on what Mishka was doing. Um, so let's see if Mishka's going to be able to uh, readapt to Devin's game plan, or is Devin going to mix up his game plan and get game three and move on to the next round? This freaking song, bro. I love this song. I like it. I like it when people take advantage of the Smash Ultimate's like good music now because we got Tekken and Final Fantasy and stuff like that in this game. So, and Metal Gear Solid too. It has good music also. All right, we got Lunar on small battlefield. <laughs> this is a most excellent game three song choice for sure. Again, Devin falling for that jab grab uh, makes up that every Samus always does because jab doesn't work for Samus. And he got Devin tried rolling through the the jab, but unfortunately, I think it just pulled, it pushed Samus along with Squirtle, so he still got the grab regardless. Or is that a pivot grab? I think that was a pivot grab actually. Either way, Devin's at 90%. But he's, uh, I mean, Mishka's at 35. Oh. So it looks like he's reading the uppies now that uh, Mishka is doing. So if you can keep Samus to the ledge and get some percent going, you can definitely do this, all right? No jump. Yeah. Devin's right now maintaining a really good space at that area, just covering all of um, op Mishka's options that he wants to do to get back to center stage. He needs to punish these uppies, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, it's Samus' uppies actually kind of tricky to punish sometimes. Just because of how fast it goes and how fast he can fall afterwards, it's, it can be tricky sometimes to punish it. But I think, yeah, De ooh, yeah Devin should just have to go for like a dash attack or something like that. Just to, get, just to hit it. Hit yeah, them, you know? damage, yeah. Uh, and I don't know if he's gonna get off the ledge here. Ooh, good jump. 
but Mitch got with the fair, ready for for his jump. Has so many options covered, bro. Do not get hit by this character as this character. <laughs> Good. Good shielding. Okay. Are you trying to break the shield? Yeah, it looks like he's trying to break the shield for sure. Okay, we got a punch in the grab. Nice. Bro, he's killed really good. so many times. That's so nice. Carlos was actually really good, and he uh, knew that he was gonna try to like like hit him, and he was like uh, trying to get back to stage. So good on Devin for covering that with the fair. We got our back air. Good read on the jump. Ooh. What was that throw? I don't know if that was intentional. Probably wasn't. Uh, it's good to. Good on you not up being in that scenario. You definitely yeah. were not going to hit it. <laughs> it's so tempting. Ooh, no way. That was close. Yeah. They just got the sour spot of the up And oh, that's it. That's no the tech. jump. Not like this. No, no jump. Tech, no, no tech. Jump. That's it. Look at Devin's face. Mad confident right now. Let's see how he's going to take uh, take over this last stock from Mishka. Yeah, so you like... Samus is up here, you can actually be pretty hard to punish if they just... Yeah, you have just, to like... Yeah, you, you can have to, yeah, you have to, you have to hard protect where they're gonna go, to be honest. Okay. Devin just ranked to center stage. I'm trying to get a combo starter, just fishing for these up airs all day. You should do it. Yeah. Squirtle has really safe up air, so might as well. Look at that, 53. This guy needs to get this charge shot. There it is. <laughs> and Devin just shields it. Oh, uh, oh, oh, like a good follow up, covering the air dodge back air. Oh, the greed was so real. This was like, get <laughs> off me, bro. <laughs> yeah. Devin definitely wanted Last. to like, end it right there. I felt that. Sit. Samus is up here. I think it's frame three or frame six. I don't remember exactly, to be honest. Just I mean, Chica knows that like if we just control space, like obviously it's not really gonna. Get up there. Yeah. Oh, bro. We got the sweet spot, but Mishka unofficially holding in, good, doing good DI. So 122 to 72 percent. Right now, Devin is about to get stage control again. Let's see how he's gonna finish his edge guard. That's it. Yeah. That really hit Tepper. This game, bro. Yeah. That was crazy. <laughs> The GGs. I, th I think Samus is like her stance in the air kind of makes her long, so it makes it easier to get the sweet spot. That would look crazy. And I probably Devin knew that he was gonna jump in the middle of the air, so he read that. Cover that with neutral air to cover any kind of movement he's trying to get inside. And he's like, all right, you gonna jump back and try to stay over there? Bet. Boom. And he does the up being got the sweet spot. And uh, looks like Devin takes game three and he's gonna be moving on to the next round. Look at good Devin. Stuff, good stuff. You, you know it's a good day when when a uh, when a uh, to. Or an XTO. He is not a TO. He's never I'm a TO. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, Devin's Devin about to make me hear it. Devin after gonna, this. Yeah, Devin's gonna let you have it. <laughs> For sure. Alright, I have to skedaddle. Booty. Alright, man. Nice seeing you, bro. Good seeing you too. Always fun to see old people back at Xeno. Um, yeah, so it looks like I think honestly, Devin just has really good strings off stage, and I think Mishka kind of wasn't ready to like, adapt. That no tech definitely like cost him the game. Have a good one, Sage. Devin, for sure, definitely cost him the game. Um, Devin's really good at, like, um, like for Ivysaur's neutral air, um, it, it can combo into up B if you DI in, which is what Devin actually taught me. So anytime you're getting neutral air by, by Ivysaur off stage, just hold out. You're not going to die. If you're below 100%, you're not going to die. Hold out so you could avoid that up B follow up. I'd if probably more say do no DI, but either way, just don't DI in. Yes, yeah. Because um, if you DI in, it just goes into a true hot follow up into Vina Whip. And I think Mishka, uh, one of those combos he actually held in, so that's why it comboed into the Vine Whip. Uh, so good on Devin for doing that. Mishka, watch over your gameplay, see what you did wrong. You know, we all love to see people getting better. Uh, next game, we got Kate.